Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an ear of corn. So I'm going to take three fingers from the top in the center and put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a little rounded corner square. And next to that I'm going to draw one, two, going towards the right. And now I'm going to draw another one going towards the left. This project is going to have, let's put one more on, uh, well, a lot of what we call overlaps. They're going to be a continuous long row of uneven little cubes or squares. Now I come down to the bottom and I'm going to put another dot right here in the center so I'll know where I'm going to end up. But before I do that, I come back up to the top and I draw a curved line up, one, Curve line up, two, curve line up, three, and one more curve line out. Now I'm going to start my overlaps. Now watch what I do. I draw a straight line down, curve line over, straight line up. And I just keep adding curve line, straight line, straight line, curve line. And I'm going to just keep going all the way down. Now it doesn't matter if they're even or not. It even looks better when they're not even. But you're just going to keep drawing straight line curve lines and connect or overlap it to the one up on top. So I keep going and I make my rows all the way up. And what's great about this project is once you get all the way down to the bottom if you need to add more, you can of these straight line, curve line, straight line, connect, curve line, straight line, connect, curve line, straight line. So I'm bringing it all the way down. You can have them start to get smaller, your rows, as you get closer and closer to this little bottom dot because it is an ear of corn. It starts out big and then starts getting smaller. So straight line, curve lines, connect, up, straight line, curve line, connect, up, down. Now I'm hitting my dot, so I'm going to finish this off. Now I look at it and I say to myself, does this need a little bit more of a curve? Like right here, I'm just going to add another straight line, curve line, maybe one right here, straight line, curve line. So you can add and make your shapes a little bit bigger if you need to. That looks pretty good. Okay, now I come back up to these lines at the very top and I'm going to mimic these. So I draw a curve line up, over, connect, and then I'm going to draw a curve line up, connect, curve line up, connect, and curve line over, down, connect. Now these top leaves can be done any way you want. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to go starting with the first one that I did. Now I draw a curve line down, connect, curve line down, connect, curve line down, connect, and right here I'm going to do a curve line up, over, and connect. I come back down to the very bottom bottom and I'm just going to add a couple of curve lines, straight lines to finish off my bottom. And now we're ready to color. Let's see how we're going to do that. Okay, this is Indian corn. They call it maize. And the first thing I'm going to do, and it's going to take me a while, but I'm going to take my, we always color light to dark. And on each one of my spaces right here, my kernels, I'm going to put a bottom layer of up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, stripes of color of peach or apricot or pink even. You just want to put down a little bit of a light color on all of these kernels. Might make you a little bit crazy, but take your time. And because we're working light to dark, 
you'll see how the, even though that color seems to disappear it does add a layer of color in the whole finished drawing so it's important to get this part down even though I know it does take a long time okay so you got a little bit of a base coat color there then what I do is I get like five or six colors and starting at the top I just go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and I put that orange to the side then I come back up and I use pink and I go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and I'm counting because I want to make sure and put one down here I want to make sure I have an overall color scheme now I'm using yellow one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I'm going to put 11 for that. Now I've got red, orange, and I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. See, and you can see how you're using up your spaces. This is red, violet, red, red, violet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six seven eight nine ten eleven this gets your base colors on and last one I'm going to do for right now is red one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so you can see how you can work your way through the color all the way down just using that system now I come back up and I'm going to use brown to fill in my top these are called sheaves or the dried out husks of the corn you're using fall colors okay let's see what this looks like all colored in here's my Indian maize corn all colored in all done in fall colors you can use different color combinations if you want and this is such a versatile drawing I'm gonna put it in under Native Americans I'm gonna put it in under fall and maybe even the Old West okay oh yeah and fruits and vegetables bye bye